everybody, it's Roxy from Feather Perfect Memories. Today I am bringing for you week 8 in my Project Life album. This is for February 17th to the 23rd and I have some really colorful photos in this spread and I can't wait for you guys to see how I pull this all together. So first of all, I'm just separating out my photos and trying to figure out where I'm going to put them on my layout. And as you can see, I have all of the colors of the rainbow. Um, especially in that one food photo so it's amazing so I'm just trying to figure out where they're gonna go and I'm chopping them all up and then I'm going to grab my card so I decide I have all the colors of the rainbow I'm going to grab my rainbow stack of four by six cards and start with that so here I'm just going to um, layer them up and see what I think I really like that um, life is beautiful card um, but it's just not going to fit because it's going to cover everything up. So I, th uh, I think that I'm going to chop it down. So you guys will see me do that a little bit later. So I've just got it laid there and I'm trying to make all the other colors fit into this layout as well. So then I get out some more 4 by 6 ones. And this was the neutral stack, I think. This is my black and white stack. Um, so I'm just going through them to kind of um, pull those rainbow colors together and um, to hopefully bring in some um, more cards that work better together. So as you can see, I'm just kind of flicking through all of those quickly. And um, um, I just, I keep all of mine in a stack with colors because to me, I work in colors. And so then once I decide what I want, then I start scrapping. So then now I'm gonna go back and think, um, and start um, working on these cards. And first of all, I am going to work on this three by four card. So I wanna chop down this card. So I cut off the Life is Beautiful bit, which I'm going to use later in the layout. And I'm just ch chopping this up so it fits in there and it turned out perfect. So it's like a little color wheel. And um, I'm going to use this as my weak card. So I'm just using my black archival ink and my um, Kelly Winnell Stamps Rose Avenue Alpha. And it is a beautiful outline alphabet and it is absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to stamp on week eight with this, um, well week with that stamp set. And then I'm using the day one stamp set from Kelly Perky to do the number eight. So a big giant number eight. And then that's all in the archival black ink. Then I'm going to get out a tiny word sticker from um, Tim Holtz. And I'm just um, cutting it down so it fits on there. And I've just put it on my color wheel. And I'm also going to stamp my dates in archival ink as well, which it's February 17th to the 23rd. And then I usually use a puffy sticker in between the dates to kind of and add a bit more of texture and color. So next I am going to get out a stamp set from Kelly Perky called Hometown Love. And I just wanted to document about eating at a local restaurant and how yummy the food is and how much we miss eating out at these yummy places, you guys. We are in July now and we just don't get to eat out as much anymore because of COVID as everybody is well aware. So I'm just going to um, stamp these little um, geotags. I have like little cutleries in the circle and they're super cute. So I've stamped it out twice because I didn't like the, the impression that I got the first time around and I fuzzy cut it out and it's going to go onto my photo. Um, so then there was another stamp from that stamp set that I am stamping onto my plate and I've learned that from Heba. She does it all the time and it's super cute so I wanted to do it as well. So I've double stamped, stamped two different things um, and then just kind of cleaning up that little bit of a mess I made and going to add that um, geotag there. I'm trying to see if it needs something under it but I decide just to add it as it is. Later I'll go through and add something else on there. This next card is a picture of my daughter um, petting the cat at school. She loves seeing the cat every morning and when I can drop her off I like to document it. So I just kind of drew like a line down and took it to my typewriter so I knew exactly where my picture was going to be and I did some journaling about her seeing Cece. 
and I'm just layering up this piece. I had like a little rainbow piece of paper, so I've layered that up underneath. And then that piece that I cut off that other card, which says life is fabulous or life is perfect. Life is beautiful. I'm going to put underneath um, that journaling. And I'm just using up the cards that I have, you guys. You know, I did chop it up, but I'm using it up. Chipboard, uh, or no, a uh, acrylic piece from Colorcast Designs. I'm just gluing that on. And it's a nice bright green color to go with my rainbow. And then adhering down this photo of a rainbow um, over my car where I picked up my daughter. And then I'm just looking for a chipboard sticker that matches that. And um, I've got a... Ali Edwards circle there. So that circle I'm just going to put over the top and then put the chipboard sticker in the middle and that's an Ali Edwards sticker as well. I think that's from the Bloom Kit. Now I'm moving on to my next card. So I've just chopped it down so I could add it onto this card and using that little rainbow paper again, marked out my area for my photos so I could do my journaling on my typewriter and adhering down my picture. Just talking about Valentine's Day and my daughter receiving money and her smelling it and saying, it smells like America. It was the funniest thing. So I just had to document that moment. Using another color cast design um, acrylic piece and they're beautiful. So this one I'm going to use a yellow one to match in with my rainbow theme. And I'm just putting a little label down the bottom to layer it over the top so it doesn't get lost in the background. So I just adhere these down with some glue and it's Tombow multi-purpose glue, clear. And I just, it always adheres down really well and it dries clear, so it's my favorite. And moving on to this selfie of my daughter and I doing Lego together. I'm just using a label and I'm going to write a little bit of journaling, journaling about us doing Lego together tiny word sticker from Tim Holtz to um, finish it off and a puffy heart sticker from Feed Your Craft. Now this last card on the layout just adhering that down it's a photo of all my succulent pots they're so cute so I'm just layering up some labels on there and then I'm going to journal a little bit about them onto those labels. And I've just layered a couple different ones so it gives it a little bit of interest and takes away from a little bit of that polka dot background. Still keeping with my rainbow theme. So i um, just going to go through here and find a chipboard sticker that matches. It's an orange one. That's an Allie Edwards one. It says something about the sun. I can't remember what it says. But I'm digging through to see if there's anything else I want. These are all of my little bits and pieces that have fallen out of my... Um, chipboard sticker sheets um, or they were the last one in the sheet so I just pop it out so I can throw the sheet away. I've used like a little corner piece on there and another little circle so I've kind of just done like a little collage on there and I found another piece to put on my food photo and pulling out the tiny word stickers from Tim Holtz again to finish that off. And then I guess I think I need another acrylic piece from <laughs> Colorcast Designs. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave me a comment below. And please give me a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.